Hi guys. I am like tearing up. I am ugh. we are watching the craziest stuff on Netflix. If you guys are like in your house because you are um Hi. Hi baby. Mom. What? I'm about to watch Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, perfect. Go put it on. Hey. We're trying not to be weird, but I just can't help it. So, our schools, we live in Pennsylvania. Let me turn the light. And all of our schools are now declared closed for two full weeks. So, it's Saturday. It's the weekend. It's like normal Saturday, that kind of thing. But it still feels different. And I don't know what to do about it. But um, we've been watching like all sorts of random stuff on TV today. Um, just in the last couple of hours, though, the rest of the day... My daughter and I went for like a two mile walk and it was just a good day and very productive, but still in the back of my head is like all this like crazy shit that I just don't even know what to do with. So I journaled and I'm getting ready to get my mannequin out and do some power practice and stuff while we watch TV. The thing that has me kicked off though right now is we just started the Netflix series on Gabriel Fernandez. Oh my gosh. It is so heart wrenching and, um, my husband used to work for the um, Human Services Agency for our county. He worked with a group. Um, it was a behavior modification program called NIPM, which is National Youth Project Using Mini Bikes. So basically, he taught kids how to um, help themselves by riding dirt bikes and mountain bikes and hiking and climbing and ropes courses and stuff. So, um, And I still have friends who work in the human services industry for our county, and it's just like... I don't understand why people are such assholes. So, anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking about um, that for. However, if you saw my story previous to this live rant, I apologize. Um, something that I've just started doing, I've talked about this a little bit before. I have, like, all of these tiny little beauty samples. <laughs> They're, like, deluxe sample sizes or travel sizes. So, this is one of the serums. This is one of the little hydrating creams. So I started this thing called Tiny Beauty Diary. It's a hashtag that I just created. And um, so what I'm doing is I'm talking about using up all of my little pieces of beauty stuff. So um, there was a when shower. There was a I don't know, deep conditioning treatment. I used when for like a hot minute back when it came out in like the... I don't know, was it like 2004? It was before I had kids, honestly. I bought it on QVC. <laughs> um, and then they had this big like snafu a couple years ago about like people feeling like they were losing their hair. I don't necessarily believe any of that stuff. However, I got one of these tiny samples. I'll actually show it to you. In my um, Christmas Advent gift that Carrie got me um, from QVC. So it's the Wen uh, Sweet Almond Mint Remoist Hydrating hair mask. So I used that yesterday. And then last night I used the Hungarian water essence belief, believe in truth. Anyway, this tiny little serum, it's lightweight, hydrating, that kind of stuff. Use that. And then this is Clinique's moisture shirt, moisture <laughs> surge, um, cream. I've used this off and on for many years. So what I'm trying to do is use up all of my stuff. If you guys have seen my beauty counter before, I'm, I'm going to be truthful here. It's scary. Wait until you see this. Oh, there's a little plug for some Lysol. All right. So I am a beauty junkie. I have tons of products. I own a salon. I try lots of different products. So this is from my FabFitFun box earlier in the year. Kenra spray. I have all of these I love any bottle that has like a little dropper. I'm a sucker for anything like that. This is um, a new beauty balm. It's actually just like this rare form of some shea butter. So it kind, kind of comes out crunchy. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, are you ready for this? There's my hanging bar. <laughs> Sorry for the bras. But this is my beauty drawer. All right, maybe not beauty drawer. <laughs> there's bath pack. Shout out Ali Scott. Okay, brushes. There's a dollar. There's a debit card. There's another round brush. There's change. Look at this crazy stuff. 
So this is like travel size stuff. I'm trying to keep that together. Oh my God, wait until you see this. All right, guys. There's some of my full size beauty products. There's some of the beauty products I'm testing. So Unite, Colorproof. Um, here is Clean Brushes. Um, all sorts of scents. That's a surf body spray. Uh, Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf is my signature scent. It has been, oops, shit, since like 1994, no, 2004, whenever it came out. Um, and then up here is more beauty products and developer and stuff like that. So I have some Fido. I have some, what else is in there? Away, Paul Mitchell developer, Aveda. Actually, I can't use this product because I cannot have gluten on my skin or in my body it just does not work yes i'm boiling water hold on so anyway i'm trying to use up all my little tiny products Ugh, boiling water because i just finished this candle all right so what you're supposed to do is pour boiling water into this jar candle and it's supposed to melt the wax and have it come up to the top and all this stuff i saw it on pinterest so anyway I'm doing that. So the things with Tiny Beauty Diary, hashtag Tiny Beauty Diary, I have two, two things on that hashtag, is um, just trying to use up all of those little things and see if I like them. The things that I have loved over and over again, I purchase a full size. I just don't ever get around to trying them all. And... I go back and forth. Like I'd love to have a signature of some sort or another, and that's the product that I buy over and over again, full size, use it or lose it. That's the only thing I use. But then there's the siren call of all those cute little jars, and like I just want to try everything. So I'm kind of caught in the middle between all of that, but I figured I've talked about it for a while, and I want to kind of minimize, streamline, reduce. Let me show you the rest of this. It's scary. Okay. So showed you that, and then here's this. It's the center. This is actually like um, a vintage, uh, like I don't know what you would call it, dinner plate holder. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, so it's so annoying. There's so much stuff. No matter how much I organize it, it's just never. Ugh! It just feels cluttery. So there's nail polish, there's jewelry, there's hand cream, there's makeup brushes, all my lashes, all my palettes. So, I mean, I use this stuff every single day and the, all of these palettes are from Morphe. These were from my um, makeup kit. I stopped doing makeup at the salon, so now I just brought them home. These are all like sponges and all that. And then these are, so this is what I've done. So this is a jar that is just cleansers. So I'm using up all my small cleansers. This is a jar that's all, I guess, creams, hydrators. Um, I guess that's all that's in there. So I have a lot of moisturizing different things. And then up here is like pedicure stuff, makeup brush clean, cleaners, scrubs, all that kind of stuff. And then like inhaler, I have like syringes for my medication and that kind of stuff. Tanning stuff, shell from the beach, candles, another shell, just so much stuff. And I'm trying to be like, okay, are these brushes that I like? Do I like these colors? That's my barrette. What do I do with these? They're good. Should I give them to my daughter? Like it is never ending. And I don't even know what happened over. I think I just emptied out my coat pockets what is this? Those are really good gummies. Those are my favorite. Yum. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so hi, honey. Are you surviving? Um, so I just did a little beauty closet tour. It's oh, so disgusting. I hate having so much stuff. So I'm going through all of my little tiny travel size products. I didn't even show you. All right, I'll show you this. Let me show you my travel size drawer. All right, hold on. Okay, so this is just travel size and travel stuff. That's my medication. This is for my autoimmune disease, which thank God 
I have been off temporarily since December, so it's supposed to help my immune system actually work better. Razors, Q-tips, travel size, other stuff. That's empty. All right, and then this is like, oh, God. Hotel shampoos and soaps, and then these are just travel size, hair, all this kind of stuff. So my goal is to do this tiny beauty diary and talk about the products that I'm using up and getting rid of and then I'm moving on and then hopefully I don't have as much crap all over the place and I don't have to spend any money on anything because I've already bought literally everything that exists anywhere. So that's what I'm doing and I thought this would be, yes, it would be perfect because I don't have to go anywhere and literally I'm just trying not to panic about all this crazy stuff, but Michelle, all I could think about was, oh great, you've already written about this, perfect. I know exactly how this ends, awesome. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna keep you posted on the hashtag Tiny Beauty Diary. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to, I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out there. I think I might do a little bit more on my blog with it, or I might just do it on my Facebook, Beauty by Lindsay or Strand Salon Corning, or maybe just film a little video for YouTube or IGTV. So stay tuned if you have questions about any of the products that I'm using. Um, just ask, comment below, and then click the link in my bio if you are interested in natural beaded rose extensions. I am still working. I'm just keeping things to a minimum and using common sense at the salon and following state guidelines and stuff. So let me know what you think. If you want to get in on my tiny beauty diary movement, just stay tuned. Thanks guys. Hope you're having a great Saturday and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.